Howdy there folks, this is Bill coming at you again. I've been making videos for almost an hour now. I think this is the 5th, the 4th, the 6th, I don't know. It's 5 of 1 a.m. here, and this is the last one for tonight. Uh, this is a revisit to the first briar pipe I owned. Uh, and this is the pipe I have smoked the most, and this is the pipe I reach for when I have a new backy to try. So, the famous green sock here, easily identifiable, says Peterson on it. Do, 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 do. That's right, folks. My Peterson Shape 302 rusticated system pipe. Um, this is a beast of a pipe. Uh, it just hangs so great, and I clench it, and I can play video games, I can get a beer, I can walk around. This is a really wonderful pipe, and I have not smoked the bejesus out of it, but I have 100, 200 bowls, uh, somewhere in between there. I know that's a large range, but it's true, it's rusticated. As you can see, it's pretty thick. Uh, which I like because this is the pipe that uh, I carry around when I'm going somewhere. Like to a friend's house, a party, a get-together. It's not going to show if you scuff it up a little bit. It's a great... It's... Um, I kind of call it like a blue-collar pipe to my friends because it's just got... I'm pretty sure it's just, just a nickel band. It came a little... Uh, tarnished, I guess is the word I'd use. Uh, it didn't come all nice and shiny, you know, like a silver spigot, that's for sure. And the top was all, the top of this pipe already came very, very dark, almost black. That's how dark the brown uh, stain was on top, so I just said, forget it. I've used matches, I've used my I Am Corona Old Boy on this, you know, to fire it up. I'm not too particular about, you know, getting a little heat or a little flame on the ring of, on the rim of this pipe. Um, I think it looks very blue collar. Um, let me know what you guys think. It's got, you know, the band's a little tarnished. You can see it's not shiny. It's rusticated. Um, it's got a good fit in the hand. It feels good. It's just hefty enough so you can tell you're holding something and you don't feel like you're going to break it. But it's just light enough where if you need to do something for a minute, change the station, whatever, you want to drive and clench and hold, you can do all that. It's got the Peterson uh, P-lip there. There you go. See that little hole in the top? I don't know if that will come through. Um, so basically, when you draw, the smoke comes up and up. It's not a button where it just comes out the end. It comes up and then up. Love this pipe. I mean, man, this is a this pipe will smoke anything I put in it exceptionally well. And you can't say that about all pipes. Some pipes are gurgle with Englishes or gurgle with Syrian Latakia or whatever the case may be. This pipe has broken in like a champ. It smokes everything. People compliment me. I'm like, hey, that's a sweet looking pipe. Pipes are awesome. Like, I know pipes are awesome. That's why I got a cool pipe. But man, just holding it makes me want to load it up and fire a bowl up in the room here, but I can't do that. Um, but this is supposed to be a re-review, not just me raving about the Peterson 302 system pipe. It's a fairly large bowl. It breaks in nicely. The system works, folks. It works. Just trust me. Buy a Peterson system pipe. You won't regret it. Um, it's become my go-to pipe because the other pipe is the Phil Rivara Poker. Um, and I have a few other pipes on the way that are East State pipes. And I have my grandfather's K. Woody, which is restored, but I haven't smoked it yet. Um, so this is the pipe, the go-to, you know, out-and-about 
indoor, whatever you want to call it. This is the jack of all trades pipe for me. I love it. It smokes everything. It's a system pipe. It's easy maintenance. The stem just twists off real easy, fits in real snug. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I don't know. I've always been a hard worker. You know, you, I think you keep what you make, and this pipe kind of reflects that. It's just got that work, workman blue-collar mentality. It was quite expensive because where I bought it was a one-off mom-and-pop, you know, brick-and-mortar shop, so I think the markup was double. But, you know, my first actual briar pipe, I didn't know any better. You can go back and look at the Peterson system review I did on this, and I think I explained that I got taken for a fool, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Great pipe, great smoker. Peterson system pipes work. I highly recommend them. Uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this pipe. It sings as Astro Man 2112 says it is an articulate pipe. Whatever I put in it really speaks to me. Um, and I will have this pipe as long as I live, and if it breaks, I will find another one. Um, really pleased with this purchase. I highly recommend it. Um, just a great all-around pipe. There's, you can't beat a pipe like that, I think. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It smokes exceptionally well. All kinds of tobaccos, because I don't have enough pipes to dedicate, you know, those six for Englishes and those six for Latakia blends and these six are going to be, you know, the ones with Tariq. I have two pipes. <laughs> and so they both smoke whatever I want to put in them. And this Peterson right here is a champ. Anyways, enough rambling. It's time for bed. It is officially 1 a.m. in San Diego and I'm exhausted. Hope you have a wonderful Tuesday because that's probably when you'll see these videos. And... Uh, stop by because I got more reviews coming. Cheers.